friends, it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and look through my Halloween decor and I thought I would bring you along with me. I'm also going to be decorating a tear tray and then I also just wanna have a chit chat and talk about my um, ideas, I guess, for Halloween decor this year because it's going to be a little bit different than last year's video. Last year I did a whole Halloween clean and decorate with me and it was a lot of fun and I will actually link that video above if you haven't watched it or if you just want to go back and see what I ended up doing. But this year I'm going to be doing something a little bit different so stay tuned until the end and I will let you know kind of my plans. But anyways, <laughs> it also happens to be the same exact time my neighbor decided to start mowing her lawn. So I apologize right now if you can hear her lawn mower but this is the only time I get is during nap time to sit down and record. It always works out that way, doesn't it? But yes, yeah, so I first wanted to start off, I guess, and share with you a few new pieces that I picked up for Halloween decorating this year. It's not a ton, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge Halloween decor person. Not my favorite holiday, but the kids really love it. It's one of their favorites. And so I kind of do it for them. And so you'll kind of notice we go for more of the cutesy rather than the scary at this point because our kids are still rather young. But I could totally see them as they get older we will want to do more of like the spooky type decorating. So anyways, I ran to Walmart this morning and found just a few things uh, that I thought were really cute and worth sharing with you. The first thing that I picked up was this little Halloween garland. It's five, I love it. I like how they have the prices on there. $5.88, but it looks like they are like galvanized metal, like cut out jack-o'-lanterns. And I thought these would be really cute either on our mantle or somewhere else. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but I just thought those were adorable. So I grabbed those. Now something I actually grabbed last year and I was actually surprised to see that they had some today when I was there were the bat cutouts. They had crows and owls as well. I don't remember if they had spiders, but I picked these up last year, love them. I don't know if I have any more left, so I wanted to grab another one because they were only 98 cents, 98 cents. So that's a great deal. I see a lot of people buying them off of Amazon right now, but if you could find them at the Target dollar spot or Walmart, it's so much cheaper. So got some of those for our decorating. The last thing I actually picked up from Walmart was a tablecloth, and I believe this one was like $3.96, I believe. They always have such odd numbers, but I feel like it was just under $4, and this is actually the first round tablecloth I've purchased for our new table. I don't have any other round ones, and the, like, the one time a year I actually like to use a tablecloth is at Halloween time when we are carving pumpkins because we will all like sit around the table and like dig out the guts and stuff and I just wanna protect our table. So got this one mainly because it'll be cute and festive and then I may actually use this on Halloween, Halloween to um, have our dinner at the table on this tablecloth. I may do like a fun kids dinner or something like that. I'm not quite sure, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but a tablecloth. And then Target dollar spot, I've kind of already shared a few things in my videos, but I'll probably reshare those just in case you missed that. But I actually brought the twins with me and they picked out some window gel clings. These are only a dollar and they won't last very long. So I'm gonna save these, I think, until it gets a little bit closer to Halloween, but kind of a classic kids item that they can do. I probably should have got one for each kiddo so they can all do it. So I may actually grab a couple more next time I'm in Target or it's an excuse to go to Target one more time. Another thing I picked up out of the Target dollar spot were these adorable little potion bottle things with different Halloween items in each one of them. So like they, first of all, I guess they were all a dollar, but these are shrunken skulls. They had a bunch of cute ones. I picked up kind of the ones that I thought were the cutest. These ones were really cute. These are witches brooms. They have little brooms in there. Scaredy cats. So I should probably take the tags off before I show you these, but scaredy cats and they have like just, I mean, purple and black kitties. Wicked witches. So I thought, I just thought these were so cute. If you watched one of my previous videos, I shared I bought like a three pack of like signs for my tear tray. I ended up returning those because I remembered that I had some from last year. And so when I returned it, I found these. So it's kind of a wash. But these bones I thought were just fun. 
I don't know if all of them, but I went ahead and got them because they're one dollar. And I think these were one of the more popular Halloween items that the Target Dollar Spot had come out for this Halloween. And we all know the Target Dollar Spot always has these cute little stuffed pumpkins. They're only a dollar. And I just really liked this pattern. It has all the spooky things like the skulls and the owls and spiders and you know, all that kind of stuff. So these are just really easy because you can kind of prop them up on your tier trays, which is most likely where this one will be going. Also tier tray item, I had picked up these three pack of books. There we go. It's a really tiny set of little stacked books that I just thought would be perfect. And so yeah, these were $3. And then the last thing I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot were these little books. They're just little cardboard boxes actually made to look like books. They were only a dollar and when you're decorating it's always nice to have a few things like that you can use to like raise different things up. So my idea when I actually purchased these books was for my mantle. I thought those would be kind of fun but we'll see where they end up. And I think that's pretty much it. I went back to look for more and it was pretty much all picked over. But the Target Dollar Spot is typically where I get a majority of my Halloween decor. And that's everything that I've picked up for Halloween. So now what I think I'm going to do is open up my bin, see what all I have. I don't know if I did. I don't think I did any clearance shopping or anything like that, but I could be wrong. Just kind of refresh my memory. And then we'll get to decorating this tear tray right here. Here we go. I only, before we open this, I only have one bin of Halloween decor. I know, shocking as it is, but I have so much fall decor that that kind of has been my thing. Fall decor over Halloween, but it's still fun to do. So, Here's what we have, it is jam packed. I do know I have a few like outside decorations and a large sign and a pillow that don't fit in here but this is kind of all of like the small stuff, if you know what I mean. I always pick up these carving kits on clearance like the year when it's over because they're only like a quarter or something like that and they always have them everywhere. So I have those all ready to go for when we carve pumpkins. Even have the kids little trick-or-treating bags I bought those on clearance one year too these are from Pottery Barn Kids I just like these over the plastic pumpkins because they store a lot easier oh my Halloween mug I actually this is from Target 2011 but I thrifted this one this was a gift from a subscriber a couple of years ago I always pull that out another one of those Target dollar spot pumpkins got my wallflower Oh yes, and I also was gifted these from a subscriber. I shared these on Instagram, but just in case you don't follow me over there, she sent me this cute little mini sign. It looks like she made it. Super cute, so I'll probably use that. And then this adorable little gnome with like pumpkin clothes on. I mean, seriously. This was one of my all-time favorite Halloween decorations. This is my first one I think I ever bought from Target. It's probably been 12 to 15 years ago. And I think he's still cool looking, don't you? Oh, I didn't even take this pumpkin out of this cloche. We have that. Those are both Target. Hobby Lobby doesn't sell Halloween decor anymore, but I got these from there. But they're real, um, I can't remember how you turn them on. I don't remember anything about them other than they were really cool looking. This is probably my favorite Halloween sign that I have. It says trick or treat. It was from Joann's. I have not been there to see what they have for Halloween decor. Oh, here's some of those bats. They're all stuck together. Ooh, I just tore that one. Good thing I found new ones. Oh, and a cute little, yes, we will be using that. Um, so, so cute. Also sent to me. Erica, I think you sent me these, didn't you? So cute black and white beads. I use these on my mantle, I think. You guys, you have to go back and watch my Halloween video because you'll see how I used all these things. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. It's one of those light up things. Denise, you sent me this. <laughs> he usually drives my truck that I have outside with pumpkins in him. Hello, he's from Michael's. Should we name him Michael or Bones? Target dollar spot, mini plants, you know, tiered tray. 
just a black ceramic pumpkin of my little light up ghost. He'll probably, I'm, I'm gonna need like four tier trays for all these cute little things that I have here. I just, every year I'll buy like a few items from the Target dollar spot. I've had this one for a couple of years, but yeah. This one I think I got last year. A black one of these. Oh, I love that. This table runner I actually got off of Amazon. I will link it if it's still available. It was like a really cheap price and I like it. It's kind of has like that, I don't know, it's just, it fit in with a lot of my existing decor that I had and it's, I mean, cute at the same time. And it has some fringies. This I got from Menards last year and it's a lantern. I had them on my mantle. These are from Dollar Tree. It was like a three pack. I think, were they on a stick? Yeah, I took them off the stick and just like set them on my tray. These were brooms. I think, were these from the Target Dollar Spot or Dollar Tree? I can't remember. Target Dollar Spot. We have one little boo pillow. Oh, kid's art project. This is like as crafty as I get, but I took a paper plate, cut out like a ghost shape, and then they glued on cotton balls and we called it good. Love that. Save these for later. This little cloth, I think we got this from Dollar Tree. Pretty much it. I have some spider web. Yeah, that's about it. So the tier tray I'm actually going to be decorating today is this one. It is a three-tiered white kind of enamel looking tray. And I actually decorated this back in the summer with my lemon decor, but I thought that this would be perfect for Halloween for a couple of reasons. One, I think the white will just like make the Halloween, the blacks and the oranges really pop more than my wood tier tray. Plus my wood one is already decorated so cute for fall that I don't want to take everything off. And so we're just gonna do this one. It kind of pays off to have a couple tier trays, I guess. So this is the one I'm going to be using. I purchased it off of Decor Steals. I do not think it's still available. However, I will link a very similar one down in the description box if you like this, but it's super, super cute. It's big and I think we can fit a lot of decor on it. I think I'm gonna start with these books right here from the Target Dollar Spot. I, they do not fit just like sitting like this because there is kind of a rim that pops up. But if I flip them this way, they do work. I don't know if I'm going to use them here or somewhere else, but I'm gonna try them for now and see how it all works out. gonna be really cute just kind of filling in some of the spots but I noticed they have like this red ribbon or string on them so I'm gonna think cut the string off I should have used orange because I think they're cute with their little string on there but that's okay we'll take it off 
They also have like a plastic wrap on the top. I'm gonna totally leave that on because I know my kids and I know they will try to open them. And so that kind of is my child proofing. <laughs> but how cute are they? Just like sitting random in random spots. They are so fun. If you could find these, they are adorable. end up switching a few things around I'm kind of lacking in the orange which is kind of rare but when Halloween orange is different than a lot of the pumpkins that I already have orange it's more of a brighter one and so the really only one I could find was this one and it's a little big but I think it also kind of works at the same time so we'll see I don't know I mean it's not that big of a deal but at the top here I did clip on one of those bats those are from Dollar Tree they just have little clips on the back. And then I added some things from the Target dollar spot on the middle here. I think you've seen where all those things are from. I did add some spider web underneath just kind of because I used a riser here to kind of cover the legs a little bit. And then down here, I just love those little bottles. They are so cute. And I actually don't mind those books at all right there. I did decorate the back because this is usually our kitchen table centerpiece and obviously we sit all around the table. So we did the gnome on the top there, a potion bottle. I actually really like the potion bottles the dollar spot had this year. I did stick a couple of those broom stir sticks out. That one's kind of gone a little bit crazy on me. And then it's kind of hard to see that little black pumpkin in there. But like I said, you guys, it just pops off of this white. I really like that. Okay, so I wanted to sit down and just chit chat for a little bit. I'll probably make a few changes to that tear tray. That was kind of my first run at it as I just pulled out all of my decor. And so if I do make any changes, I could definitely share with you in like a day in the life type video. There's a few like areas like there's a lot of black, not a lot of orange. So I may try to look for like one more orange thing, but it's not a big deal to be honest with you. Um, so I just wanted to sit down and talk about Halloween decor for us for this year. So last year I did like a big formal Halloween clean and decorate with me and I loved it. It was really fun. But this year, I'm not going to do it that way. I kind of decided I want to get the kids more involved because Halloween decorating, to be honest with you, isn't something that brings me like a ton of joy, like I have to do it. But to them, it brings them so much joy. They get so excited over the lights and the ghosts and all that weird stuff. They love it. And so I decided I think one of the days where they get out of school, either like a half day or they don't have school at all, which I know they have one of those in October, I'm just going to tell them we're going to decorate for Halloween. I'll just pull off the bin and let them pull it all out and put it where they want. And that's kind of how we used to do things way back before I did like all these like videos on YouTube where I would do like clean and decorates with me. So I think they'll really, really like it. And so that's why I wanted to pull everything out today, just to make sure I had a good amount of stuff where we could do that. And I think we do. We have some mini signs, some pumpkins, and some lights, some banners they can hang up. And so it should be a lot of fun. And I cannot wait to tell them that's how we're going to do it this year. You know, it's something that we could do together right now, which we're kind of running out of things, to be honest with you. And so that's the plan. And I'm also really excited that Halloween is on a Saturday this year for lots of reasons. One of them is that we can kind of celebrate Halloween all day long. So I, f I might go out and buy like paper plates and napkins and we'll just kind of make it like a Halloween day. Like we'll wear our costumes, we'll do Halloween stuff 
and then of course we'll hopefully i think we're gonna go trick-or-treating i'm not quite sure how it's going to work this year but we'll do some version of it anyways and it'll be a lot of fun so i'm gonna try to make the most of it this year and just spend a lot of time with the kids help them decorate their rooms and we'll kind of see where it goes but Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you do any Halloween decorating in your house. Do you go all out? I know some of you do, like big spiders hanging on like chandeliers and stuff. Oh my gosh, that stuff creeps me out. Like I could not, I could not do it. I'm, <laughs> I'm so scared of spiders. <laughs> it's funny. But yes. I would love to hear about it. Also, send me some photos on Instagram if you want of some of the Halloween decorating you've been doing. I just, I absolutely love when you guys send me pictures of your decorating that you're doing. So keep that up, please. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for more decorating videos coming very soon. I'm gonna say it. I've been watching Christmas decor videos. I have been watching my old house tour. I'm getting ideas and we're going all out this year. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. So this is kind of a funny story. My dad brought this. I can't even remember why, but I think the kids wanted a ghost of some sort. So my dad bought this and brought it for them. And they loved it. I think we um, talked about hanging it on a tree outside. I have no idea. I cannot remember, but hilarious. Why in here driving me crazy sat down got my water she's finally done mowing her lawn looks really nice <laughs>